Hello, everybody. Hope you are doing well. My name is Theo Yais. And in the last two years, I gained almost 500,000 followers in all the platforms like Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. I quickly become the most famous AI creators in Vietnamese. So what I will say today, three biggest lessons I learned about making money as AI creators, and three steps to your AI effectively in 2025, even if you are a beginner. So in 2022, I, I try to build a personal brand. Uh, so I start making video for social media. But at that time, my content skill is zero. I made 100 videos, and none of them went viral. And I almost quit thinking, maybe it isn't for me. But all of a sudden, ChatGPT will release in late 2022, and I have a chance to try it. And as soon as I saw people posting about ChatGPT and Zo video had millions of views, I thought, if they can do it, so can I. So I grabbed my phone, saw the video, paused it, and to my surprise, I blew up with one million views on TikTok. I met authors, it also blew up. So I locked in, stopped doing everything else, and focused on learning AI and making video every single day. So my third lesson is, take the shot. Even if you, it doesn't work at first, every skill you learn will a foundation. My first 100 failed video gave me the skill and confidence to succeed when the opportunity came. But the story is not end. After six months of posting daily, I gained about 100,000 followers across all platforms. But I realized I didn't mon know how to monetize it. I don't make any money from it. And I wanted running out of money. So this is a panic stage for me. One again. I thought about, how about quitting? How about come back to 9 to 5? Maybe creator game is not for me. So I start going to creator events, asking for advice, and learning from others. So that's, why, that's when I meet my mentor. Together, we build and launch my first digital product. Because at this time, I don't have any money to invest. In, so Digital product will be the way, the way you go because you don't have to internet uh, money to get started. So at first, I thought I will make a ChatGPT course or copywriting chat with ChatGPT because at this time, I only see that some people posting about it. So I think, yeah, let's go with it because yeah, they, they do it so I can copy them or do something similar. But luckily, I have my mentor, and he says, no, think something new, something in huge demand, but nobody else is teaching. So I'm going to research every day, and after a week of much consideration, I ended up choosing AI video. That is a risky choice, because back then, AI video was nowhere near today's quality. You can see it, the video here, it's the first video that got viral making by AI. But there's some still way to see the power of AI in video creation, which I will share more in the end. So I spent our other months learning, then launching my course after finishing, I made two promos video, and it sold like crazy because I'm priced low, and uh, I put on serious efforts and quality into the program. Uh, then, when I had the money from it, I reinvested 80% of my revenue coming to art. Uh, into building a website and hiring, I put in 30%, 20%. And uh, then, my social media my social media officially become a business now. And after almost three years, 
I saw over 10,000 plus AI via program, which is nice, all right? So the second lesson is in AI business, nowadays, you need to think a high demand but underserved markets or niches. When you think it, you can focus on volume and scale it fast. Even though AI video is now saturated, there are countless other opportunities in automation, e-commerce, affiliate marketing, and more. And you can, if you're looking for it, you will find it. So, so many competitors show up because uh, I'm the one uh, who make it soon. So many people are saying, yeah, this guy doing good. Let us uh, compete competitive with him. So customers had more choice, as get more expensive, other resource. But I wasn't worried. Because instead of spending most of my resource on thinking to new customer, I sweep it to taking care of the one that I already have. So all of my customers, the one who buy my program, can join a community and a space where people can stay updated on AI news. And I personally spend every week to be copying it, uh, updating with AI and sharing for them. So I share some tips to you AIs. I I'll let people connect with each other. And uh, the community become fun, valuable, and alive. So the next day that I'm launching new products are high ticket watching. Most of buyers come from directly from my communities. So even some business owner and C-level executive start inviting me to change their company. So I also monetize my community. So that's it, my third lesson. Community is everything. When you have customer, build communities, nurture relationship, and uh, that's where the future sale will come from. Okay, that is my story and my three lessons. To wrap it up, every skill you learned built a foundation to success when the opportunity came. Always find high demand but under, underserved markets or niches. Communities is everything. You should put 80% of the resources to it. Yeah, that is my story. So, let how did I use AI in 2025 if I starting over? We already know that AI is a fast moving pace. Everything is just new, every update, and people make some hype about it. But for me, if you're just starting with AI, you start with step one. It identify the tasks that you really need AI to solve then choose only one tool that does the best and master this. For example, I have three tasks, one to AI to help me. One is scheduling my to-do list quickly. Two is research and generate new ideas. And three is it create motion graphics for my video. For these tasks, I choose Gemini. Because it's simply better and handle my specific tasks, I want to choose the one that can make actual results. No need more powerful. Let's try the task one. Let's say you have a ticket and it comes from an email and you only have a picture. If you're too lazy, like me, to note it on Google Calendar. You can just upload the picture on the calendar and you Ah, you open the calendar in uh, Gemini, and you just ask them, ask the two events in my calendar. And a second, Gemini help you to schedule your, uh, your calendars. So by uploading pictures and asking Gemini to add into Google calendars, and Gemini will be automatically, automatically add a schedule in Google calendars. And the information is absolutely correct, and you don't need to be tied manually on the phone. That saves time, right? So I'm using a lot. And even if you have some note, 
and you have some picture, and you want to quickly schedule, quickly, a uh, user takes one minute, just upload to Gemini, and they go happy with this. So the task one is done. Let's try task two, Armand Creators. And creator needs idea for new video every single week or every single day. But why did I just looking for video that already viral and analyze this to learn from it and using AI to, you know, actually make things viral content in my own. So to in doing that, if you have a new YouTube channel, if you want to build a AI YouTube or every everything video, every few you want, you just need to be copy the YouTube video link and then you ask a problem, something like analyzing a viral YouTube video and generating five ideas from it. And then I can help you to get five fresh content idea. That is a fast way. You don't need to think about it. You have some idea. So now you can choose which one to use. And at least we have some idea to build the new video, to write the script, everything like that. So let's try task three. I think this is the most powerful task you can do with AI. And you will be surprised. Here's a video. You can make eye-catching motion graphic for the video in second, literally in second. So motion graphic helps your video look more professional. Everyone knows that. And I take this image from Iman Ghazi video. The title is copies of copies this very last video needs to make for 41. Thousand per month, something like this. So I'm not here to steal, tell you guys to stealing somebody content to you to see how powerful AI in creating something like this. So this is my reference. I want to create something like this. And you don't have to pay thousand for editor and designer to make some graphics similar to this. If you don't know, some graphics to this can make a skillful editor and designer an hour, even a day, to create. But you can just bring it to Gemini and tell it, this image was crap by a top tier six figure designer. So they can you, oh, it will not be serious, right? Can you describe it in detail and make a prompt that AI can create something similar with purple themes? Well, you know what? You can just took a picture and upload. It took a picture here, upload to Gemini and say, get me this prompt. And Gemini will get the prompt for you. Yeah? Can you want to try it? Open Gemini, take a picture, and say, let uh, extract the text from this image. And if you get the prompt for you, right? You can try it. So now I have the image prompt come from a reference image. So how to make it? I'm using a Gemini tool also. Because if you're buying a Gemini Google AI Pro, you also access to amazing image creation tool. It's called Wish. And this is actually the link. Labs.google FX tool Wish. And you now use this prompt that make uh, Gemini made for you, and paste thing to here, and you generate. Now we have the pictures. It it on comes with the text. It comes with all the graphic, right? But it, when you cropping this form, make sure that everything is in order. Something structured like this. Again, you can just took a picture from Gemini, and telling it, get me this form, and it will do it for you. So everybody, good? Let's do the same thing. Let's do the next. Now, actually in Gwis, we can animate because it access to well trees. So when you create a picture and you're happy with it, sure you need to be, make some, maybe five or 10, and choose the best one. Now, when uh, the pictures is already finished, you will see an animate button right here. So now, you click on it, right? 
And now it's a video pass. You need to finish with using this form to create a motion for the image. So about the motion graphic video form, you need to be described everything in order. Like, you need to be telling it what's the motion, what is the direction, what first, what comes second. Like, the main, the main thing is three, three main things need to be moved first. Then we describe the background later. And uh, in the end, you put something like smooth, seamless transition, neon grow, loop animation. And you can get something like this. And the, the beautiful thing is about this tool is it already renders the sound. So we don't need to sound design it. So it only makes you a few minutes to get a motion graphic for your video that you can save time, save money with the workflow and the prompt. So, in the ex so experience with yourself if you want to do something like it. And the step three, when you start learning AI, it keep leveling up. And actually, more surprising, Google already have some really, really good find about prompt engineering. Let's, you can learn prompt engineering and explore auto AI application when you already master one tool, and this tool will actually help you in your day-to-day -day tasks. So to wrap it up, my three lessons in building AI business is take a shot, build skill, people for, prepare for opportunity. Choose if you need high demand niche and scale it, and three is it build and nurture a community. And my three steps to use AI effectively in 2025 will be clearly list the tasks you want to automate, pick the one AI tool and master it, and three, keep learning and advanced skill and new application. Thank you. All right, give a round of applause to Mr. Hugh. All right, Mr., thank you so much for your wonderful insight to our audience. Once again, give a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much.